The float glass manufacturing process, developed in 1959, is the standard process for producing high-quality flat glass for the construction and automotive industries. A highly technical float glass production line produces between 300 to 600 tons of float glass every day while using some of the Earth's most abundant raw materials. The main ingredient in glass is silica or sand, which accounts for 60% of the total materials used in making glass, called the batch. Lime and dolomite are added to help sustain strong physical properties of the finished glass, while soda ash and sulfate help lower the temperature at which sand will melt. Glass itself is also an important ingredient. Broken glass, called colet, is added to the batch. Colet is recycled from the manufacturing process and also accelerates the melting of the batch while reducing the energy required for melting. After a thorough check to ensure the integrity of the batch, it's fed into the filling end of the furnace automatically. Natural gas and superheated air raises the batch temperature to 2900 degrees Fahrenheit at which it melts. Once melted, glass leaves the conditioning zone at a temperature of about 1900 degrees Fahrenheit through a narrow canal where it flows onto a bath of molten tin which has a higher density than molten glass. The glass, now known as the ribbon, spreads out onto the flatness of the tin, leaving the upper and lower surfaces of the glass perfectly flat and parallel. This flowing process makes the glass thicker by confining its initial outward spread over the tin. To make the glass thinner, top rollers pull the glass along the line, speeding up the flow and creating a gentle stretching effect. A controlled atmosphere consisting of hydrogen and nitrogen within the bath chamber prevents the tin from oxidizing. When the glass emerges from the tin bath into the annealing layer, it is hardened to the point of preventing the marking or distortion by the conveyor rollers which move it through the layer. In the annealing layer, the temperature of the glass is slowly cooled from 1100 degrees to 200 degrees Fahrenheit in the length of approximately 800 feet. At this point, the glass is uniform, with only the indentations left by the top rollers remaining to be removed later in a process called edge trim. The excess glass removed in this process is carried back on conveyors to be reintroduced as collet into the melting process at the beginning of the line. The glass is transported down the line to be cut into a variety of sizes and go through the edge trim process. The glass is coated by a protective powder which aids in scratch prevention during storage and shipping. The glass is removed from the line in an automated process. Glass is then stacked into like sizes. Finally, the glass is carefully loaded onto specially constructed trucks and shipped on for further fabrication.